Alright, if you're watching this video, it means you've decided on the EAP program and are ready to apply. That's great! Come on, let's go inside! straightforward. All you have to do is follow your application checklist. You can refer to the campus-specific application instructions down here for help on completing the items on your checklist. We've also made this video to help you do everything right. Remember, your EAP application will only be accepted if it's 100% complete and correct, based on your application checklist. You can do it! Okay. Your checklist probably has around 6 to 10 items on it, depending on your program. Each EAP application checklist is a little different, so if you have friends applying to different programs, their checklist will be slightly different from yours. However, if there are certain items that are on everybody's check checklist. One of the items on your checklist is the online application form. This shouldn't take you more than 30 minutes to complete. Right now, you're on the Instructions tab of the online application. Use the other tabs above to complete the rest of the online application. We've got some tips for you. Make sure to enter your name exactly as it appears on your passport. Muy importante. For your class level, make sure to list what you'll be when you go abroad, not your current class level. EAP determines class level based on your cumulative credits. If you will have fewer than 90 credits when you go abroad, put sophomore. If you will have 90 to 134, put junior. If you'll have over 135 credits when you go abroad, put senior. If you've got a passport, enter that information in. If you don't have a passport, then check the no box. You'll have a chance to add the info later on before you go abroad. In the academics section, you need to list the courses you're currently enrolled in and the courses you'll take each quarter up until you depart for EAP. The number you enter for units completed at UC needs to match the number of cumulative credits currently listed on your portal. That's also the number in the middle column of your unofficial transcript. Make sure to hit the submit button when you're done with your application form. Then print it out and read the statement of understanding before you sign and date the form. Also, on your checklist in the EAP information sheet, the main purpose of this form is to make sure you inform yourself about your program and then you understand the responsibilities as a future EAP student. Use the EAP website, eap.ucop.edu, to educate yourself about your program and to find the answers to some of the questions asked on this sheet. You can fill out the form on your computer, then print out it and sign it. Make sure to read the second page very carefully as you complete the checkboxes. Over overlooking these important responsibilities could have some serious repercussions down the line. Another item on your checklist is the EAP Academic Planning Form. This is where you plan which courses you'll take before, during, and after EAP. Fill it out on your computer to the best of your ability, and then print it out Sign it and take it to your major and college advisors to discuss your plan and gain their approval. If you have a combined or double major, both advisors need to approve the form. If you have a minor, your minor advisor also has to approve it. If you're not exactly sure which courses you'll take when you're on EAP, first look at the course opportunities information about your program on the EAP website. That's where you can get an idea of how many and what type of classes you'll take. It's okay to use generic course titles such as Upper Division Econ course or Spanish Language course on your form if you don't have more specific information. Just fill out the form to the best of your ability using the course information that is available for your program. Your advisors might want to keep a copy of this form for their records. You should also make a copy for yourself to take with you when you go abroad. One of the items in your checklist is the transcript. Read your checklist carefully to see if you need an official or unofficial transcript. Read the instructions below regarding how to print an unofficial transcript from your portal and how to order an official transcript from the UCSC Registrar. Your checklist might also contain some other items such as copies of your valid passport, additional forms, pictures, letters of recommendation, statement of purpose, etc. If an item is in your checklist, you need to include it in your application. On the other hand, if it's not in your checklist, you don't need it. 
your checklist probably states that you need both originals and copies of certain items. Applications missing any required photocopies will be considered incomplete. As long as you follow your checklist carefully, you should be able to complete your application without any problems. And believe us, it'll be worth it! Please don't use any staples in your application. Uh, please only use paper clips. Paper clip each set of documents and then paper clip all sets together and put your application checklist on top. Applications are accepted in the International Education Office between 9 a.m. on the open date and 4 p.m. on the closed date for your program. Space is available on EAP on a first-come, first-served basis for qualified applicants with complete applications. Some programs have unlimited space, while others are impacted and have limited space. To see if your program is impacted, check the application urgency chart, which is available here in our office, or you can find it online. Applications must be submitted in person. When you bring your application to the International Education Office, a peer advisor will sit down with you to check it in. The check-in process takes 5 to 10 minutes. If we find anything is missing or incorrect with your application, you will have to go and fix it before we can accept it. Follow your checklist carefully and do it right the first time. Once your application has been checked in, it will go to one of our Programs Abroad advisors for full review. You can expect to receive an email from one of our advisors within three weeks after you submit your application. The email will contain an official notification letter and the next steps for you to take. That about wraps up how to do your application. We hope this video has been helpful to you. Good luck on your application and... We'll